Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to the stream. Give me a second. I'll get this all set up. And yet again, we have another AI. This time it's an upscaler, and I'll explain what it does. And you'll see, this isn't going to be a terribly long segment, but it's worth checking out. Because yet again, a new thing has been developed, and it's weird, and I have to show you. And myself and several of the vetting team have come up with some interesting images for you. So this is an AI upscaler, or as it's called, Progressive Face Super Resolution via Attention to Facial Landmark. Well, that is what it's called. And this is Mario Artist Music again. All right, so here's... Uh, how can I even explain this? All right. You upload an image, say this image, and then what it does is it scales it down to this, right? And then it scales it back up to this. This is the predicted result. So it goes from this, right, to this, because <laughs> it, it's trying to figure out what the image looks like when it's this small. So that's basically how it works. And you get stanky face Rem Lazar. And uh, you get the new Jocker, and you, yeah, you basically, yes, Ninja's father, that's correct. All right. So, I'm gonna show you some images, and then you can use it yourself, even though it's a little bit of a pain in the ass to use. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Vinny, this is a real-life computer-enhanced technology, kind of. So, I'm gonna show you some images, you tell me... ...what it looks like to you. So, who's this guy? Yep, it's Sheev, based on this image. And you can see it just hollowed out the eyes... ...into this... ...dystopian, like... ...eye-mouth... ...orifice nightmare. So that's... ...what it can do. Um, here's the Baby Mario image that I always show on stream. I don't have the actual image at the moment, because I'd have to rifle through my stuff and dig for it, but... Um, here's one. Where'd it go? Here you go, here's one. So, it, it took I Enjoy, it squashed it down, and then it stretched it back out so it could get a square image, and it, it, it came up with this. So that's the I Enjoy face. I'm sure you know who this is. Vinny, it put a Swedish fish on him? Oh yeah, it did. That is a Swedish fish, what the fuck? Okay. Hang on a minute. Let me get the uh, Polygon Studio music, because that stuff was good. Uh, while I'm doing that, I want you to enjoy th this image. This is based on a new thing that happened fairly recently. Can you, uh... Determine what this is? It's Moon Cardo, correct. That's correct. Hang on a minute. Speaking of. There we go. Now we got some music I feel more appropriate for the stream. This is, um, this is Jerry Steinfeld, and you, you can see, once again, I'll fade into it. So it's Steiner mixed with Jerry Seinfeld, which fades into this. So, maybe not the most interesting of the AIs I've shown, but, well, take a look at some of these. So this is what meat looks like, shrunk down and scaled back up. Todd Howard. This guy whose name I owe... Naoki? I always forget this dude's name. Mubio Bare? Hmm. 
All right, then you have this banned image, which was claimed for sexual content. Remember, this is too sexual for the stream, so I'm not really allowed to show this, but I'm breaking the rules here, just so you can enjoy it. This is Trance Tommy Wiseau. From Final Fantasy IX, of course. Here's... Scoot Meat. I'm gonna let you guys guess some of these. Alright, now, if you remember my AI animeizer, animizer, I took some of those images and I put them through the upscaler. And we got... John Cleese, Anime Man. It turned into this. So... Yeah. Don't worry, I'll get you the proper linkage for all this. This one's a little bit more complicated. It requires a couple more steps to get this one running. Um, here's that alien that I always show. Mm -hmm. Here's this. This Isaac face, or whatever the fuck this is. I don't even really know. Hang on. I, you know, so again, I don't have the... the actual, like, comparison images for a lot of these. Sorry about that. Here's anime Tommy Wiseau. Here is... can you guess what this is, chat? This one's going to be hard, but I think you can do it. It's, yeah, it's Elijah Wood on the stream. Upscaled. Yeah, this one I do have the comparison for. I don't know why it turned it so red. But it tried. It certainly tried. It got rid of most of the detail. Guy with a hole in his head. Here's Morge Scampson, I guess. Here is... I don't... Uh, Carl Pilkington anime? The crusty baby that I always show, but no face. Um, Mario 64. Uh, corruption art. This one might be one of my favorites, because it looks like his face is melting off into some kind of flesh spaghetti. So yeah, I think this- this one might be... This is a good example of- and it looks better smaller, too. Like, if you can... Just look at it like that. It looks like its tongue is also melting, kind of. I don't think I need to tell you who this is, but look what it did to his face. Vinny, every time an AI program is used here, we stray further from God's light. Yes, we do. This one is... anyone know? Endless Trash, very good. Okay, got a couple more. I have Sheev in the fold- another folder for some reason. I must really like this face. Um... Guesses? Guesses, uh, place your bets. Who is this? Peach. It's Petch. This one's probably very easy to guess. So yeah, you know who that is. Okay. This one's a little more obscure, but if you watch a lot of Sunday stream, you know who it is. Who is this? It's not Bonzi Buddy. It's the monkey. That's right. The monkey from the Giggle- the Giggle Bone Gang. Okay, now, considering emotes are already pretty small and designed for that, it upscales emotes pretty well. So, here's an example. Not too bad. It's still crusty. Vine hard. Hmm. 
Vine Ryzen. Vine Bab. Looks like a cake. A lot of these just look like a cake. Vine Scoot. Vine Stank. Oh, oh, this one... I don't know what it did to my lips. My face looks like paper mache, but otherwise, yeah. Vine Tommy. It does better with emotes than it does most other things. Here's, um... Teletubby. Here you go. Probably one of the best ones. Overly realistic Waluigi upscaled emote. Vinny, a lot of these look like clay. Yeah, they kind of do. And then it just, for some reason, it just turned me into a pencil. Um, speaking of, here's this image again. That will be forever on these streams, I guess. So this is uh, me, me, and me. Except with a mask. No, this one, it kind of looks like just an asshole. Like a blank thumb head with an asshole that's covered by some kind of, like, jockstrap. Uh, considering Doom is up next, we're doing getting Doom with it. Here's a little... Here's a little teaser. Here's an upscaled version of John Doom. Here's a, uh, yeah, there you go. Here's the pig from the Gigglebone Gang, except, again, it's just like a kind of a... It's got a side skull... ...and an asshole eye. So, thank you, AI, for doing this. NUT! Not nut, it's not. We make the pants. We make the pants. That's right. And... Hang on, here we go. This is what you've all wanted. Okay, I got one more small folder... ...of a couple images here. So... We can do comparisons. So, first we'll start with this. So, I'm gonna do the small image. You can guess. And then I'll show you the upscaled version. So, yeah, it's it's Terminator trying to smile. And then look what it did. <laughs> it gave him like Fire Marshal Bill lips. Okay. How about this one? I think yeah, yeah, this one's probably been on the stream enough that people know what the fuck this is, but yeah, it's the Devo, are we not men? Answer, we are Devo. Or, we are barbecued spare ribs with a hat on. What's this? Uh, does anyone know? I'm looking, I don't see a proper answer. I don't see an answer. Oh, I got I think we see an answer here but but let me let me see does the upscale version help? Harrison Ford saying it was a movie. You don't need to see the small version of this. It, this is such a fucking familiar pose. Even if you've never had any interest in Bowie, you've seen him in this pose before. Here is Villager, a Scoot Villager. I don't know what this is, actually. I don't remember why this is, but it did something very strange to it. So, yeah, it takes the colors and it really, like, enhances them. And when I say enhances, I mean it, like, fucking changes them. Um, I got another John Cleese here. So, Small Cleese was turned into... <laughs> this one, this is probably my favorite. I would say this is maybe like one of my my three or four favorites. Because it still looks like a face, it just changes the expression almost entirely. Hang on a minute. 
Let's see if I can find the original. I, I fucking... I have it in the folder. It's just, it's a folder with like a thousand images, so I can never find... ...the images that I need when I need them. But here's an animated version. Yeah, he's just looking a different way in the upscaled version. And... I think this is a Bart... I don't even know why I'm, like, giving you images like this, but... It's- it's like a Bart action figure that no longer has a face. It's just, a, like, a mouth teeth chest and- and boob face. Sad Koopa Troopa. Melty Sad Koopa Troopa. And finally... I want to do something here. We lost Rucker Hauer a couple months ago now. And famous for Roy Batty in Blade Runner. My favorite movie. And uh, one of my favorite performances in movies. So, you know, I gave the computer a little Rucker. And I got this. <laughs> so why is his mouth all the way down there? Is my question? Not much of a tribute. You wish to pay me tribute? Yeah, this replicant process... ...stopped working. Yeah, so that's about it. I mean, the AI itself is... ...is pretty cool. You can do some stuff with it. 16 by 16 resolution enhance. Um, here's... Uh, ...one thing I can show you. I got a little something here. Uh, it was amazing. Like, uh, we got to dance together. Uh, <laughs> that was amazing. Um, we had, like, uh, you know, when you do a movie, you do table reads, you know, where, like, all the uh, actors get together. Well, at the and beginning of the At the production. beginning, before anything. So it's Bill Hader being interviewed by David Letterman, script. upscaled, and, uh, over and over so and over like, again. You know, all these heavyweights, like, you know, you know, Ben Stiller, Jack Black, Robert Downey Jr. Everybody, and at the end is, like, me. Like, you know, like, hey. This is a video uh, by Jonathan Fly. Fly. <laughs> you know, like, and uh, some other supporting guys. And then, uh, And I can link you now to the page. And even those guys are like, whoa, and he's super stoked to be there. <laughs> you know, just like, yeah, oh, boom. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> he's like, wow. I think it's Bill Hader as <laughs> Tom Cruise. <laughs> Upscaled. And, uh, and, uh, so he comes over and he sits next to me, and I think he had been briefed on some of the Time. Guys, but, uh, he was, like, trying to place me, <laughs> you know? So he sat down next Yeah, to it's me basically a scanner and, uh, darkly. <laughs> I love your work. <laughs> All right, okay, I'm gonna link you to it. Um, the link will be, again, it's a little bit, you have to do some work here to get this to happen. So this is not just, like, press button and it works. Like, you gotta do some stuff, you gotta follow some instructions. I can't help you. You know, I don't- I don't really know what I'm doing ever in anything in life, but... Um, Cornell University developed this, apparently. So, I'm gonna link it in chat, and if you're watching this years from now in the future, I'm sure the link will be in the description. Um, you can just type progressive face super resolution via attention to facial landmark. That's all you gotta do. Just type that. Just type that.